I'm sure you're wondering what these lovable characters have to do with the Gold Coast. Well, it's more than likely you'll run into them, because one thing we Kiwis love about the Gold Coast is theme parks. Well, I drew the short straw in the office, and while Jeanette gets to hang out in New Zealand, I have the tough task of checking out which of the many parks has the most fun and excitement on offer. Our mother and daughter duo join me for a second opinion. Off we go to the four largest parks. Sea World, Warner Brothers Movie World, Wet n Wild Water World and Dream World. Here's what we'll compare the number, quality and variety of attractions at each park. The age range the attractions are suited for. The waiting times that we faced at the most popular attraction and in total, the entrance fees and the cost of food. First up, we're diving into SeaWorld, a theme park focused on marine life. There are 26 different attractions, one high-speed roller coaster for adrenaline junkies, seven family rides, 12 shows and animal displays, and six attractions especially for children. For hot days, there's even a water park with various pools and slides. This pool, however, is not for the faint-hearted SeaWorld's newest attraction, Shark Bay. You can watch their daunting shadows from above or get close up below. Thank goodness for the safety glass. The most popular of SeaWorld's roller coasters is the Triple Loop Corkscrew. But for safety reasons, there are height restrictions on the fast rides. Fun alternatives are the carousels and playgrounds at Cartoon Beach for the kids and me, because I'm special. But even the best attractions aren't much fun if you're hanging out in the queues all day. Our family had to wait 27 minutes for the corkscrew and almost one and a half hours for all three rides together. That's the longest average wait of all four theme parks. Now, as you can imagine, all this fun and entertainment comes at a price. A one-day pass costs 74 New Zealand dollars per adult and 48 per child. Our family spent another $35 for lunch and waters, but SeaWorld does allow homemade food and beverages to be brought into the park. Overall, we give it an 8 out of 10. But what did our mother and daughter team think of SeaWorld? I thought the corkscrew was good, but it could have been a bit longer by going around twice. Now, if you're a film buff, then Warner Brothers Movie World is definitely the place for you. Movie World has 18 different attractions, all related to Warner movies or television series. There are two thrill rides, five family rides, five shows and six kids attractions. But Movie World has neither a pool nor animals and as such has a lot less variety than SeaWorld. Still, they have the fastest ride, zero to 102 seconds flat with the new Superman Escape. Faster than a speeding bullet and scarier than anything I've done in a long time. Rides for the younger visitors are concentrated in the Looney Tunes village. Our family had to wait 10 minutes at the Superman Escape and 82 minutes in total for five rides. Less time than at SeaWorld, but more than at the other two parks. The entrance fees at Movie World are identical to SeaWorld and food can be brought into the park. Due to a small number of attractions and little variety, we give Movie World five out of 10 points. We had an amazing day at Movie World. It was full of action, adventure and adrenaline. And the Superman ride was absolutely amazing. I didn't like it that much. It was a bit too fast. My eyeballs sucked back into my head. Our third destination, Wet n Wild Water World. This is quite easily the best job I've ever had. The water park has 24 different water attractions, five high-speed slides, 15 family rides, one large area for children and three relaxing pools. There are no shows or animals. But what's most important is... I rule the pool! The newest ride at Wet n Wild is the Black Hole, two rides in complete darkness. Well, it's definitely wet. In terms of waiting times, Wet n Wild rated well. Seven minutes at the Black Hole and 13 minutes on average. The water park has less variety than other parks, but the entrance fees are considerably lower. Food can be brought in, and at Wet n Wild, you can even have a barbecue. Burger. 
We rate Wet n Wild at 6 out of 10 points. And our family? I thought that Wet n Wild was great. My favourite ride would be the Black Hole. But it wouldn't be good for people who are afraid of the dark. And finally, we're off to Dreamworld. It has more rides than any other park. 36 in total, 7 thrill rides, 9 family rides, 8 shows and animal attractions, and 12 attractions specifically for kids. Dreamworld also has a water park. In keeping with its name, Dreamworld has a strong Australian theme, and visitors can encounter a variety of Australian animals, like these old guys. A crowd puller for the kids is the new Wiggles World. It offers a variety of interactive and educational activities and a once-in-a-lifetime chance to hug your favourite Wiggles friend. Oh. At the other end of the spectrum, the most popular of Dreamworld's thrill rides is the Giant Drop, the world's tallest free-falling ride. Some of you would love this sort of thing, whereas for others, that would be the worst 90 seconds of your life. <laughs> Our family had to wait only 10 minutes at the Giant Drop and 88 minutes overall for seven rides. That's 12 and a half minutes on average, the shortest queue time of the four parks. The entrance fees are identical with SeaWorld and Movie World, but Dreamworld allows no homemade food to be brought in. Still, we rated Dreamworld at 9 out of 10 points. The water park was really good because the parents could sit there in the shade and watch the children and just have a bit of a rest. The overall winner in our comparison is Dreamworld, followed by SeaWorld. Movie World received the least points from us. But our family's pick? My favourite theme park was SeaWorld because you could interact with animals, there were great rides, a water park, and it was great for the whole family. And the best ride of all? Well, if you're after the biggest thrill, I'd say Superman Escape beats all other rides. Second best is the giant drive at Dreamworld. And third in terms of adrenaline are the vertical slides at Wet n Wild. Still, I'm after more thrills. Now for something that's a bit more my speed, a bit of a special swim. For $55 extra, SeaWorld lets you snorkel with their sharks. It's me, and that's a shark. That's me, that's a shark. Well, that's a fish, but he's near a shark. After the break, hygiene horrors in a hotel room where there's blood on the floor. And I'm going to tell you about cheap ways to get around surfers.